So uh, we're at our fifth presenter. After this presenter, we'll have a little break. But uh, don't go anywhere yet, because Seth Neary is coming up with his presentation, Inspired. So inspiration comes when you least expect it. December 3rd, 2019 was an important date for me. It was my deceased mother's birthday. It was the day I started immunotherapy after 16 rounds of chemotherapy. And it was the day I received my issue of Monster Children Magazine. Now, Monster Children Magazine, the uh, creator here was uh, Chris Ashworth, was the graphic designer, a great graphic designer. And what I really liked about this magazine was the layers and the textures and the typography and the play on words. And the article, Chris is also speaking about Letraset, something that I was unfamiliar with at the time. Uh, I Googled it, I, under I started to learn about it, and uh, uh, I looked on eBay and it was like $10 a sheet and I wasn't interested in purchasing it because I wasn't sure if it was going to work. But I found these five cabinet drawers and uh, I bought one for $75 and there was over 100 sheets of letter set in it. So now I was in. Another thing that uh, Chris had spoke about was finding typography out in the wild. Something that wasn't created on a computer. Something that was distressed. Something that was... Uh, Destructed, and that spoke to me, and I really like that aesthetic. So my journey of capturing uh, uh, distressed and destructed type began. Uh, I would take walks around anywhere from five to twelve miles a day, looking for uh, distressed uh, type all over all over Burlington. Uh, and a lot of this was from the train yards. I would go to construction sites. Uh, I was looking for sans serif. Uh, Typography, stuff that was like Helvetica or Universe, or uh, and here's a lot more of it. And these, there's a lot. I have a lot of photography of this, um, but it was really fun. It was um, it was uh, a, a really uh, great journey. I was I was uh, posting a lot of these on my Instagram and getting a lot of feedback on this, and uh, it was it was something that I really enjoyed. The next thing was uh, I was starting to study another great graphic designer, David Carson. And David Carson was uh, producing a lot of collage work. My kids came home from uh, Canada from a van store, a van sneaker store, and they had this bag, and it was the first collage I put together. I was just ripping it up, taping it down, incorporating lecture set, which then led into taking a photograph of my daughter who was playing bass, and I thought it would be a great, you know, why don't we make an album cover? So uh, I shot this with uh, a Polaroid, deconstructed the Polaroid, and then added letter set to it, and she had her first album cover. <laughs> yeah, she was a great sport. This also turned into more experimental uh, collage work um, and incorporating letter set, just uh, working with different textures, um, and everything was a, a whip, a work in progress. Uh, I would post these on my Instagram again, and uh, I, I ended up producing well over 200. A good friend of mine, Greg Waters, in New York City called me up, and he said he saw what I was producing on Instagram, and he invited me to create uh, a graphic for the Harold Hunter Foundation. I called a good friend, Gunars, who had photography of Harold. We created this board. I used It was all done by hand, no computers. Uh, yeah. My next journey took me back to my parents' house where I went through my archive of magazines. I was looking for specifically ray gun magazines, which both Chris Ashworth and David Carson were the uh, creative directors at different times. So I found these magazines. All the mastheads were created with letter set, and a lot of the stuff in, in the magazines was created with letter sets and was speaking my language. The last magazine I found was this magazine, a snowboard magazine called Stick in my collection. I looked at the uh, publication, and sure enough, it was created by Ray Gun Magazine. And the art director was another guy, Scott Klum, who I was a big fan of that I'd never met. And ironically, I was featured in the Airwalk ad and a snowboard ad on the back cover. <laughs> the very next day, I was up at Sugarbush, and I saw a Morrow snowboard from 1990 on the, uh, on the rack, and it had the original bindings. This board was created by Scott Klum, the art director from the magazine. I took a photo of it, I posted it on my Instagram story, I tried to do some type like they might in Ray Gun. I tagged him, oh I gotta get to this, 
<laughs> I was driving down Pine Street, I saw David Carson, I pulled over, I picked him up in my truck, and I drove him downtown, and we uh, became friends, and I gave him a box of Letra set. <laughs> <laughs> Carson's a legendary graphic designer. 46 Pages Magazine. This was a, a publication out of Croatia uh, that I became friends with this big community on Instagram. Uh, and it was all like-minded, grungy designers. And uh, they invited me to art direct one of the issues. And of course, I, uh, I did the 46 Pages in Letra Set. Uh, this is some of the type that I was playing with uh, in my house. and. Um, uh, this is Compacta. I was uh, cutting it up, taping it, scanning it back in, and I would make uh, pages that were going into, into the issue. Uh, the next... <laughs> this is that awkward part. <laughs> the next thing was uh, really experimenting again with uh, collage work. Um, I was uh, really interested in another graphic designer, uh, Andy Jenkins out of California, and he's uh, known, best known for working in, in the collage medium. So his, his collage has really inspired me. Uh, this is a pretty big piece that I have at the house that I worked on. It's just finding scraps around my house. I worked with a, um, a Swiss snowboard producer, a um, guy who makes beautiful snowboards, and um, we, we built this snowboard together and we were able to incorporate uh, the collage work that was uh, as a graphic and it's a, it's a beautiful board and it's, uh, it's a really fun, fun one to ride. Mm -hmm. This is my uh, house, at, uh, um, my sanctuary at my house. Uh, I, I've since discovered how to find Letra Set, which is purchasing the uh, cabinets and they're all full. Uh, they're, yeah, and uh, it's a place where I like to go and uh, just kind of tune out and really work with my hands and get off the computer. Uh, yeah, so the last thing, which is, um, you know, inspiration is the process of being mentally stimulated to do something, especially to do something creative. Thank you.